Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, or Little RV Specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If if you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 OHIO RVS. For sale today, we have a 2012 Pleasure Way XL TS with 51,355 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2012 Pleasure Way XL TS. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got about 74 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. Got a fantastic fan here in the center. This runs on our coach battery. You can use this like an attic fan at night if you open up the windows. It'll bring the cool outside air in, or you can use this like an exhaust fan for your bathroom. We'll check that out here in a little while. Got hard surface flooring. It's it, going to make it easier to keep clean. Got a table mount in the front and one in the rear. We've got a table in this closet. We've also got a smaller circular table here behind the driver's seat. Got a fire extinguisher little storage spot here in the door. Got a window that opens. Got a curtain you can pull all the way around here for privacy. Storage rail up top. This is for our water here. This will ignite itself. This runs on propane. Got our levels test for our gray, black, fresh water and our coach battery. These are notoriously finicky, especially your water tanks, so don't always trust these. Water pump on off. This will pump the water out of our onboard fresh water tank generator start stop so we'll start or stop the generator that runs on the fuel tank that'll stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself this is a fresh service and fresh oil change by our certified owning technicians it's got 47 hours got a convection microwave oven here the closet here you can hang your goodies Table and table leg, the board on the right is for the big bed in the back. We'll see that here in a little while. Not much of a step up and into the bathroom. Got an actual porcelain stool. Got three drawers. Under sink storage. Put your goodies in the rail there. And it's gonna drain down into this basin. Got our curtain you can pull around you to help contain the water. Towel bar there on the back wall. You can open that window there. It's got a screen, we call out in the stink vent. Got AC power on the front of the cabinet so you can plug in your curling iron or your shaver, whatever you need there. A little mark there on the back of the cabinet. Got a stainless backsplash. Make it easier to keep clean if you're cooking in here. The Corian type countertops. Single basin stainless sink. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. So this is a three-way, meaning it runs onto your shore power plug-in or your generator, which will be AC power. DC meaning the coach battery or propane gas. It's a water pump down at the bottom of that cabinet. Got AC power there. You can plug your coffee pot in. Got our propane furnace there. The red switch down here is our coach battery disconnect. That will disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect our charging systems to the coach battery, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Got a fuse panel down here and a noxious gas detector. Got a cool cat AC and heat pump. This will function as a heat pump down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. That's all controlled through the thermostat here. Of 
cool cat runs on AC power. So the shore power plug-in or the generator. And our manuals there. The rear windows do not open. We got screens over here on the lowers. So what makes this an Excel TS versus a TD? The TS has a power sofa in the rear. The TD has two permanent twin sleepers. The twin sofa here, you can run down by pushing a button and it's gonna make two twins here, or you can use this to make up one big bed. I'm gonna drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The separate twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches north, south, or front to back, and 26 and a half inches east, west, or side to side on the driver's side, and a little shorter at 70 inches north, south on the passenger side. The big bed measures approximately 68 to 72 inches north, south, and 80 inches east, west. So in the rear, we've got storage that you can access through the rear entry doors as well. And we've also got storage over here on the driver's side. Here we are sitting in the back of the pleasure way. Have you heard of the band 999 megabytes? They haven't got a gig yet. I've got a counter flip out here, so flip up for more counter space. All of these cushions are movable, so you can just move these out of here. If you don't want to use them, these will make up your big bed. Got AC power down here, so you can plug things in while you're sitting in the back. Got a head unit over here that's going to control the speakers here in the rear. Some little reading lights you can turn on and off while you're laying in bed. This is the power switch to run the sofa up and down in the back. Got DC power here. Going to be able to plug something in to that cigarette style plug there like you'd see in the front of a lot of your vehicles. The TV here is on a swivel mount. You can swivel this out to face the front. The front two seats swivel. However, the passenger seat's gonna get a better position due to this driver's seat having the steering wheel and this cabinet behind it. We've got two belts on the rear sofa and two belts up front. So a total of four belts on this pleasure way. These nice mirrors here. Some storage up top here. Got rear airbag suspension. There's a controller in the back cabinet to be able to inflate, deflate, or check the pressure on that. So got a really nice specimen here. The Pleasure Way Excel is a very popular series here at Coon Truck and RV. People really like this floor plan. They like the bathroom and all of the great things this unit offers here in a small package. I'm going to call this a 9 out of 10. Very minimal blemishes inside and out. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. In the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, CD. Got auxiliary in here. Got a glove box. Upholstery is nice and clean. Not noticing any signs of smoking in the form of stains, burns, funny smells. The cigarette lighter's on use, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2012 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This RV measures 20 feet, six inches bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. This Pleasure Way is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 51,355 miles. Got a really nice looking exterior on this one, lots of shine left. Full body paint. At the back of our refrigerator, got our coach battery here, got actual alloy rims, got our furnace exhaust. Just a little bit of crackling here on the stripes, only in this portion. The rest of them look very nice. That's not something you're gonna notice when the RV's driving by. Got our air conditioner coming out the back here. Got a storage compartment here. Got two AC plugs, so you can plug things in beneath the awning. These are for the awning legs. I prefer to run the legs directly to the ground. That way nobody can walk through there and break your awning legs. Got a tow package. We've got rear airbag suspension on this one. Got our awning center rafter and crank. Got storage here that you can access from inside of the coach. Curtain you can drop down there. One piece molded fiberglass top here on the pleasure way. Got the quality you know and love throughout. Another storage compartment here. Got our short power cord, fresh water hose. This is a sewer hose storage. 
Those are a little tough to use, so often the sewer hose ends up in here. Got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank that's gonna travel wherever the RV goes. You have to use the water pump to pump the water out of that. This is the back of our water heater. A Little bit of that crackling on the stripes here. Really good looking everywhere else. Pleasure way looks really nice. Got our outside showers, nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a hike. Keep the mess outside of the camper. Got our fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. Got our sewer drain here. Gonna dump the black first and the gray. Everything's gonna come out of this hole. Cable TV in. This is our city water connection, so you can run the hose in here and get water from where you're staying. Got our propane tank. This is mounted to the unit. We've got an on and off valve here, a gauge. And this is where the person that is selling you the propane is gonna fill that. This is where we're gonna connect our shore power cord. It's a 30 amp service. We've got our generator here. This is an Onan RV quiet generator, 2800. So this is a little quieter than the older generators that you may be used to. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan technicians. You can run that generator while you're driving or whenever you'd like, as long as you got more than a quarter tank in the fuel tank. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Mm -hmm.